Thank you, Bree. A man dedicated to helping people and their cars get home safely after a night out is now paralyzed after a driver crashed into him. Yes, yeah, some are calling this case cruel irony because that man's wife tells me the driver was under the influence at the time. Now, today I spoke with his wife about how he's doing and the community effort underway to help the family. Looking at a photo of her husband, Ed, Rosalind explains how the last month and a half has been an extremely difficult time for she and Ed. It's hard. They keep wanting us to be optimistic, but one day he was walking and the next day he can't move anything. On January 30th, Ed was driving on Cloverdale Road when Rosalind says a speeding driver crashed into his car. A car came up behind him in excess of 95 miles an hour and rear-ended him, flipping his car over into a canal, ejecting him from the driver's seat out the back window and now he is paralyzed. She says police say the driver was under the influence at the time. Doctors didn't know if Ed would survive. He went straight into surgery to try and to remove the pressure from his spine and it was very critical. But what makes this even more devastating is for the last 10 years, Ed has run a car and driver service where he and one of his employees will pick up anyone who has been drinking and make sure they, along with their car, get home safely. Ed had just dropped off a client and was driving back to a bar in Meridian to pick up another person when that driver slammed into his car. He's very angry. We're both angry that he was doing something that was really helping the community and keeping the street safe at night. And so it's ironic that he should be injured by a drunk driver. And we're feeling really like insulted almost. Ed is now at St. Luke's Elks Rehab Center. He's still paralyzed from the chest down. He doesn't have any use of his fingers, um, but he can move his arms up and down and around. So they're working with him. On that. As Ed works to recover, the community has come together to support him in what's happened. A Boise bar, Charlie Brown's, along with other local bars, held a steak benefit and silent auction to raise money for Ed's medical expenses, raising $16,000. You shouldn't drink and drive, ever. Even if you just think it's a mile away that you have to go, something bad could happen, and it has a ripple effect. And Rosalind says doctors are unsure how much mobility Ed will get back at this time, but one of his friends has started a GoFundMe for the family, and we'll be sure to have a link in this story at KTV.com. And you said it at the beginning, the, the cruel irony, and really the irony of this is so devastating to see that he was doing so much good to try to keep people safe. Right, and then and this then happened. It happened to him. So all the best to him and Rosalind, and you know, hopes for a recovery, and uh, still a great thing to do. He should be applauded right. for that as well. Absolutely.